Hi guys and welcome to another video tutorial on Ubuntu 10.10 Today's tutorial is going to be about the default boot up screen for Ubuntu 10.10 Now as you guys may know, once you guys put in the live CD and in the loading process the Ubuntu sign with the orange dots lighting up and down it looks really good with the high resolution but once you download, once you install the OS on your hard drive this is sim like this is how it might look for some people like I know for sure for me this is how it, this is how it looks it might be for everyone it might not be for everyone but it does look ugly with the default resolution being I think 640 with 480 I'm, I'm not sure what the numbers are so it does look ugly and for first time Ubuntu users it is a bad impression for them so I'm gonna teach you how to how to t fix that today there's an experienced way and an inexperienced way for those beginners and for those experienced people I'm not saying I'm experienced alright so first thing first is you need to open your uh, open up your browser I use Firefox and then search on Google Ubuntu wait oops ugly Ubuntu boot up screen Alright, so once you get here, you have to look for something called Linux Hub, some like a like a website. As you see, it's right there. So we're gonna press the screen on it, the ugly, the ugly boot screen. We're going to 10.10 ugly boot up screen. Blah blah. blah. So once it opens up for you guys, press on the title itself and it will get you into the article. Now I have to tell you one thing, if you have a laptop like 1366 times 768 you can simply go to the, there's two ways here, there's the step by step instructions where you actually have to configure each file and there's a script where you can just download and the script will run in your terminal and it will do everything for you now the co uh, the difference between one and another is that the default for the script is 1024 uh, um, tw I'm sorry the default re resolution is 12 number I forgot the number let me see one second this is the step by step guide the, the default um, resolution is 1280 by 1224 that the, so if you have your resolution like that, or if you have a laptop which is 1366 times 768, it wouldn't really matter. And I would recommend if you just go to the script and and you know do the the automatic script. But if you have a resolution that is like 1480 times 1990 or something like that, one of those high res resolution screens, big monitors, I would recommend you do the step by step it's over here. It's, it's a detailed step by step so it, it shouldn't get you um, really complicated with it but to be honest for me it didn't work but you can do it here for your screen I would recommend it if you have a, a really big screen for the default 1366 times 768 I would just recommend that you do the script so you can find the script here the guy his name is Kai Kayla Baker, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna. It's a tutorial here too. It's like how to fix your Ubuntu boot up screen. I'm just gonna go down and download the zip script and exact it from here. Extract it. You can if you want. Just read the script here. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. <laughs> I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna delete. It doesn't matter. Once it opens, I, I downloaded it too. I forgot. You open it. You press, you open it with the entry manager, and you extract it. I already extracted it here. Once it's extracted, wait one sec. Let's just close these. I'm done here. As you see, this is the extract file that comes. The timeout. I don't know how to say that. Timeout resolution. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to run it in the terminal. So we're just gonna double click it. And press run in terminal. 
It's gonna ask you for your password, so here's my password. Obviously you guys can't see it. Enter. Now it's doing what it needs to. I, I actually already done this, so I'm just doing it again, doesn't really matter. Just, you know, refreshing the files I guess. And by the time that's finished, I would really recommend if you have those high screen resolutions to get to do the step by step guide because it will make a different for a difference for you. You know, having a picture that's meant for a 1280 times 1024 resolution screen and putting it on your 1440 times 19, it's, it's gonna look different. It's gonna be a little bit ugly. It's gonna, it's not gonna look good. It's not, it's not gonna look how it's supposed to look on your screen. So you can go into the step-by-step -step guide and it will teach you how to configure your d your own resolutions. So after you've done this, that's it. You're done. After you run the script, it finishes pretty quick. It doesn't take long. Just restart your computer and hopefully it will work. If it doesn't work, please comment, rate, and I'll see what I can do. Let's just delete these. We don't need them. Thank you for another video. Thank you all. Bye.